Hello everyone and welcome to Survivor Radio Network, your weekly nerd news. If you like this video, give us a like, consider subscribing, and join us on Discord. Everything we talk about this week will be linked below. Let's jump into it. Let's talk about the Game Awards one last time this year. In case you didn't get to watch them, here's what you may have missed. There were, of course, the awards, with Last of Us Part 2, Hades, Ghosts of Tsushima, Among Us, and many more picking up awards. Be sure to check the Game Awards YouTube for more info. Now on to the announcements and trailers. First up was the Final Fantasy fan favorite, Sephiroth, joining Smash Brothers. Available now. Next up was the revival of another classic. Xbox and the Initiative showcased a cinematic trailer showing off their reimagining of the Perfect Dark series, set in the future where corporations have taken over the world, trying to save it from climate change. But maybe they aren't as good as they seem. For fans of co-op zombie survival, the team behind the Left 4 Dead games is back at it again, this time with the spiritual successor, Back for Blood. Creative leads behind Dead Space showed off their upcoming third-person survival horror title, The Callisto Protocol. They stated they were looking to make the scariest survival shooter they could. In what was easily one of the biggest surprises of the evening, we saw Vin Diesel fighting evil tribes and a hungry T-Rex in the reveal trailer for ARK 2. ARK 2 looks to continue the events of ARK Genesis and will be available on next-gen Xbox and PC in 2022. Alongside, ARK the Animated Series was revealed with a bevy of A-list voice acting talent. Another big reveal was the return of Mass Effect in a yet-to-be-named sequel. The trailer featured Liara from the core games. There were dozens of other announcements and previews from Dragon Age, Warhammer, Evil Dead, and more, so drop by the Game Awards for more info. At the same time as the Game Awards, Disney was holding their Investors Conference. Since Disney owns everything now, we got a lot of news. 
On the Star Wars front, we got two spin-off shows from The Mandalorian, Ahsoka and Rangers of the New Republic. Andor is a prequel spy thriller to the movie Rogue One, focusing on Cassie and Andor, played by Diego Luna. In addition to Ewan McGregor reprising his role for the Obi-Wan Kenobi series on Disney+, Hayden Christensen is returning to play an older Anakin Skywalker slash Darth Vader. Additional series announcements included the animated Bad Batch, the anime-inspired short stories called Visions, a Lando spin-off series, a droid-centered droid story, and a mystery thriller about the rise of the dark side in the High Republic era called The Acolyte. Wonder Woman director Patty Jenkins is making a Rogue Squadron movie, although fans of the video game may want to hold their excitement as this will be an original story not related to the game. Thor Ragnarok's Taika Waititi also still has his Star Wars movie in the works, following his fan-favorite Mandalorian direction on the season one finale. In non-Star Wars Lucasfilm news, there's a Willow TV series in the works, as well as a fifth Indiana Jones movie by Logan director James Mangold. In the Disney scene, we're getting a Mighty Ducks TV series in 2021, a Turner and Hooch series, a Beauty and the Beast Gaston series, a Swiss Family Robinson series, and a Percy Jackson series trying to reboot the film franchise. For movies, there's a Hocus Pocus sequel in the works, as well as a Three Men and a Baby remake with Zac Efron. A Cheaper by the Dozen remake, a new Ice Age movie, as well as an animated Diary of a Wimpy Kid and animated Night at the Museum movie, all coming to Disney+. Plus. John Mulaney and Andy Samberg are putting their talents together as Chip and Dale in an original Rescue Rangers hybrid animated live action movie. Also coming to Disney Plus in the live action front are Pinocchio with Tom Hanks, Peter Pan and Wendy, a disenchanted sequel with Amy Adams, and Sister Act 3 with Whoopi Goldberg returning once again. Coming to theaters on the live action front is The Jungle Cruise, a Lion King prequel, and a live action Little Mermaid. The 
The next animated Disney princess movie is Raya and the Last Dragon, coming in March to theaters and Disney+. Plus. Four animated series were also announced with Baymax, Zootopia, Tiana, and Moana coming in 2022 and 2023. Also in the works is a collaboration with African entertainment company Kugali set in a futuristic sci-fi version of the city of Lagos called Iwaju. A new animated feature in Kanto about a magical family in Colombia is coming from Lin-Manuel Miranda and the creators of Zootopia. Pixar announced a Disney Plus spin-off of Up called Doug Days, starring Doug the Dog. Cars is also getting a Plus series, and a new IP, Win or Lose, about a middle school softball team is also in the works. The next Pixar feature film is Luca, about a boy named Luca and his best friend Alberto. Following that is a new feature from the creator of the beloved Pixar short Bow, titled Turning Red, about an awkward teen May who turns into a giant red panda when she gets too excited. The final Pixar feature announced is the Toy Story Universe's Lightyear, which tells the origin story of the original human Buzz Lightyear, which the toy is based on, to be voiced by Chris Evans. But wait, there's more! On to Mighty Marvel news! Marvel head Kevin Feige showed off a new trailer for WandaVision, set to premiere on January 15th. The first trailer for The Falcon and Winter Soldier was also premiered with some amazing looking action from Anthony Mackie as the Falcon and buddy cop dialogue with him and Sebastian Stan as the Winter Soldier. Expect The Falcon and Winter Soldier on March 19th on Disney+. Plus. The first trailer for Loki showed off the Master of Mischief in the custody of the Time Variance Authority alongside Owen Wilson. As the series logo implies, we ought to get to see the many sides of Loki as he follows the events of Avengers Endgame with the Tesseract starting in May. Marvel's animated series What If showed off some of the crazy hypothetical scenarios like what if Peggy Carter takes the place of Captain America and what if Wakanda's T'Challa becomes Star-Lord instead of the Black Panther.
On the movie front, we got a date for Black Widow again, now set for May 7th, 2021. Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings has wrapped production and is set to follow on July 9th. Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness from Sam Raimi is set for March 25th, 2022 and will tie into both WandaVision TV series and the upcoming Spider-Man film. Feige teased the upcoming Disney Plus show Miss Marvel featuring the character of Kamala Khan, then announced the character will also appear in the upcoming Captain Marvel 2 in 2022, with Brie Larson returning and Candyman director Nia DaCosta taking the helm. The Hawkeye TV series officially confirmed Haley Steinfeld picking up the role of Kate Bishop alongside Jeremy Renner's Hawkeye, and more importantly, Lucky the Pizza Dog, the faithful golden retriever companion from the Matt Fraction comic book run. The big green lawyer She-Hulk is getting a series where she juggles trying to fit in despite her appearance as she represents various superhero related cases in the MCU. Expect a lot of cameos from other MCU properties including Mark Ruffalo as the Hulk and Tim Roth as the Abomination. Other series announced with minimal detail include Moon Knight, starring Oscar Isaac, and a Secret Invasion series starring Samuel L. Jackson and Ben Mendelsohn following the scroll after the events of Captain Marvel. In the Iron Man universe, we have the Iron Woman Ironheart, a series about inventor Riri Williams building her own suit of armor which may pave the way for a new Iron Person in the MCU. Plus, Don Cheadle is returning as War Machine in Armor Wars, a series about Stark Tech Gone Rogue. In the category of something no one saw coming, we're getting a Guardians of the Galaxy Christmas special from James Gunn, as well as an I Am Group short series. On Movie Snippets, we got confirmation that former Batman Christian Bale is joining Thor Love and Thunder as the villain Gore the God Butcher. Director Peyton Reed is returning for the next Ant-Man and the Wasp movie subtitled Quantum Mania. MCU Spider-Man director John Watts will direct Marvel's first family in the MCU's Fantastic Four. And on the Spider-Man front, following the multiverse events of WandaVision and Doctor Strange, Spider-Man 3 was announced previously to feature all your favorites back again. Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield, and Tom Holland will all be featured as Spider-Man, with Kirsten Dunst returning as Mary Jane and Emma Stone as Gwen Stacy. Spider-Man 2's Alfred Molina will return as Doc Ock, and Jamie Foxx will return as Electro. Add back in Michael Keaton's Vulture, Mysterio, and maybe Sandman, Rhino, or Hobgoblin, and we could see the formation of the iconic Sinister Six. Well, that's a lot of nerd news to digest. We'll pick back up after the holiday season. Enjoy, stay safe, and stay nerdy, everyone. Let us know any games we missed, what games you're looking forward to, and don't forget to join us on Discord. I'm Dragon, and this has been SRN Weekly Nerd News.